Caleb here. And recently I had a client that asked me if I could do some videos that had some simpler advice. Because even though I like to talk about a lot of deep things and manifesting like the psychology and everything, simple advice can also be, you know, very helpful for people, especially if it's helping change how they feel. So in this video, I wanted to make a quick short video talking about five of my favorite affirmations. Now, just as a quick reminder really quick though, I want to remind people that it's not the affirmation or the technique itself that creates, it's you that creates. So always use any sort of manifesting technique from the perspective of it feels better, it's giving me relief, this is helping me. Because ultimately, you want to remember that creation happens from within. So just remember to kind of hold on to your power and to not outsource it in something outside of you. And I really like Florence Scovel Shin's philosophy on affirmations. She says, an affirmation must produce a change of feeling, give a sense of relief. So always remember that as golden advice. If you're someone who likes to use affirmations, look for the ones that give you a change in feeling. They give you a sense of relief of, you know, I don't have to carry all this burden by myself. Okay, so the first one, my current situation is not my final destination. I've had plenty of moments in my life where life was crappy, it was pretty shitty, and it felt like that bad situation would last forever, but it didn't. So always remember that my current situation is not my final destination. So the second one, this one might seem a little untraditional compared to what you normally hear, but it actually is a really powerful one. I can handle this. You see, it's really important in life to remember, especially as a conscious manifester, that life doesn't come without challenges. So instead of running away from your challenges, start to embrace them as an opportunity for growth. So I can handle this. I can handle life situations. I can handle this is a very powerful statement. And you'll be surprised at how powerful you can actually prove to yourself that you are being able to get through the tough times in life. Because life works in patterns, right? It works, energy works in waves, ups and down, ups and down, up and down. Okay, the, the third one. This is one of my favorite ones. No matter where you are in your manifesting journey, reminding yourself that what it is that you're creating, whether it's something specific or just talking about the life in general that you want to live, it can still happen. That's the affirmation right there. So for example, let's say you have some fears that start to come up. Reminding yourself, I can have those fears and it can still happen. Uh, another example, let's say you wanna win a million dollars. You scratched off a lottery ticket and it didn't win. Sure, you may be a little bummed out, but you can remind yourself it can still happen just because this ticket right here didn't win. I really like that one. It can still happen even dot, 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 you know, fill in the blank. Okay, this one is an affirmation, but it's more like an ask formation. It's a question. Maybe I'm exactly where I'm supposed to be. You see, often in life, we spend so much time fighting our current reality, but we never actually question, maybe I'm exactly where I'm supposed to be in life. Maybe this is part of my path that's unfolding. So start asking yourself that question. What if I'm exactly where I'm supposed to be? Or pose it as a, uh, as a statement, right? Maybe I'm exactly where I'm supposed to be. And then the fifth one and my favorite one is this one right here. This is one from Florence Scovel Shin. And I've often used this one in my life because this affirmation really works for me because me personally, this is one that really helps produce a change of feeling within me. And the affirmation from Florence is, I cast this burden on the Christ within and I go free to be at peace. Now, you can replace Christ within with whatever you want, right? I cast this burden on God, on infinite intelligence, on Allah, on the universe. It doesn't matter whatever word you want to use. But there's a lot of different ways you can reorganize that statement. So here's like an example of like money, right? 
I cast this burden of lack on God and I go free to have plenty. Or I cast this burden, think of it this way. You could think of burdens in your head as fears and doubts, right? I cast this burden on God or the universe, whatever you want to call it, right? Higher self. I cast this burden on God and I go free to be at peace. I cast whatever burden on whatever name you want to use and I go free to live in unconditional love. Whatever it may be, casting the burden. Because remember, if it's out of your physical control, then it deserves freedom from your mind. So yeah, I just wanted to use that list of five affirmations that I have found super helpful. And again, just remember affirmations are a tool, just like any sort of manifesting technique. They're a tool, but ultimately the power lies within you that creation happens from within. The thing that you want or the situation changes when the way you genuinely think and feel about it changes. And that's the key word, the way you genuinely think and feel about it. So yeah, I hope that video helps. Um, if anyone has any affirmations that you know you use that are your favorite, post them down in the comments below for other people to see them.